would never, never mm -hmm. lie about cancer. Okay. And it's you would never lie about it? You don't even know it. So Boogie2988 has recently gotten into some major trouble because of a claim that he made about two years ago at this point, basically just saying that he has cancer. Now the type of cancer that he has is something called polycythemia vera, which for those of you who do not know at this point is basically just a progressive blood disease that has a life expectancy of about 20 years or something. And so for the past two years, Boogie2988 has been holding this over the head of most of the internet, or at least the people who follow him pretty closely. And if you go on his Twitter, there are hundreds of posts talking about it, talking about other people having cancer, him having cancer, basically guilt tripping people, doing what Boogie does. And his cancer was a motivation for his very recent scam or crypto pump and dump that he was paid $10,000 to do, which she claims did not hurt anybody, but that is just a provable lie. Fans lost money because of this pump and dump that he did, and he just can't get that through his head. Now, admittedly, I'm not way too good when when it comes to crypto stuff i really try and stay clear of it because i i just don't care enough but coffeezilla did an interview with boogie 2988 basically just confronting him about the pump and dump or the crypto scam and he got some pretty interesting stuff from it I confronted boogie 2988 on a crypto pump and dump he did where he got paid ten thousand dollars to promote a coin and he said that he thought that just because he said, hey, don't buy this unless you're rich, uh, that nobody was going to put their money in. A few hours later, $3 million worth of trading volume had been done. Let me ask you this. When were you paid the 5000 Five days ago. Five days, days ago. ago. Less than a week. Were you paid in cash or were you paid in like crypto? Cash, obviously, yeah. Okay. And you're yeah, being... I, I hold none of... I, as far as I know... It's my understanding I hold none of this coins. I don't have any coins in my wallet. Uh, it's my understanding they've set aside 2% for me, but I don't have a way to receive that. Um, so I, I don't know what good that does me. And 2% of nothing I thought was nothing anyway, so who cares? No, but now the, the coin is, <laughs> your coin that you told no one to buy is being bought, unsurprisingly. And now it is worth something. Are you then gonna sell that too? If you get a hold of it, are you going to sell it? No, I will not sell. I, I won't be able to get a hold of it. I don't have a wallet anymore. Well, they can just sell it for you. They can just make money for you. Are you going to take it? If I'm being genuine with you, and I do want to be genuine with you and the rest of the internet, I'm in pretty dire need of money. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills, and I'm fighting cancer, and I very much like not to, uh, not to, you know, fuck around with my health care too much, but that's something I would generally have to consider. And I know that from watching your videos in the past, if I say maybe here, uh, a lot of people are going to take that as a no and, and it might end up being a no. Uh, so I may as well give you a hard no here because uh, I I very, very much need the money. I'm on, on $1,800 for the medications right now. Now, Boogie is no stranger to begging his audience for money. He likes to deny that he does it all the time, but like I said, this guy is just a pathological liar. You can literally prove that he does all the time. And as you guys heard, his justification for keeping any of the money that he scammed his audience out of was for his cancer treatments. On top of the $10,000 that he was paid to promote this pump and dump in the first place. So this got a lot of attention online. People like Turkey Tom, Waste Critical, Mudahar. Lots of people covered this story. Because from what I can tell, this is a first for Boogie. Boogie is many things, a liar, a manipulator, a gaslighter, plenty of things, but a crypto scammer, many people did not think he'd cross off his bucket list. So eventually Turkey Tom came into Destiny stream to just kind of give him the tea, basically telling him what's happening with Boogie right now. And Destiny took the bait. Uh, Boogie, as everyone in chat knows, mm -hmm. is a uh, is an epic lol cow, okay? He's, he's fallen off. He used to be seen as the Mr. Rogers of YouTube. And uh, now everybody just basically sees him as... But I would argue there was like a little bit of charitability he had from large YouTubers because I thought... I think they thought he was just like dumb. Okay. Like he's mostly just an idiot. Mm -hmm. um, but now he's been exposed for running a pump and dump crypto scam on what's remaining of his audience. And uh, see, his his explanation is he didn't know what he was he didn't know what he was doing. I don't really buy that. I think he was lying. I think he knew the entire time, mostly because the uh, <laughs> the service he was using was called Pump Fun, which is literally um, okay based. I, I mean, it's. Yeah, it is based. It is based. But mm -hmm. he somehow didn't know. <laughs> he somehow didn't know. 
But uh, Coffeezilla did this really good interview with him, and you can uh, you can basically catch on to Boogie's blatant manipulation tactics. I hope I, I hope you uh, get better with your sickness, and um... yeah, it's cancer, man. It, uh, you don't you, people don't generally get better. Uh, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. He doesn't have cancer. That's bullshit. He's lying about it. One billion percent. He's lying about having cancer too. Why would you say that if you had cancer? It's cancer. You don't get better from it. That's so absolutely not. True. It depends on the type of cancer. It depends on the condition of the patient. It depends on the healthcare available to you. It depends on. Uh, now hold on. Third one is stupid. Um, it depends on the type of cancer. It depends on the status of the patient, and it depends on how far the cancer has progressed. Um, and then also other things like finances and medical, well, whatever. But those three are the big ones. Why would you just say it's cancer? There's no hope. That's such a stupid thing to say. So just five days ago, Destiny went on Law Cow Live, a show ran by Keemstar, Boogie, Wings of Redemption, and Tommy NFG to basically confront Boogie about his cancer diagnosis and how he thinks he's lying about it. Boogie, 2488, you are being confronted tonight. Go ahead. I am 99% sure that you are, you are faking. No, don't move. I'll... You are faking your cancer diagnosis, Boogie. Okay, let's hear that. Let's hear that. Did the doctor ever tell you, or did he ever say the word cancer? He said polycythemia vera, which is a form of cancer, as he explained it to me. And no, it is not secondary polycythemia, polycythemia which is Nicholas Diorio's explanation for this bullshit. The, the yep. hormone markers are already in my blood. Yep. And so I think we are confirming it with the biopsy because I'm yep. wanting to do that because I'm praying to God I don't have cancer. He doesn't care. I'm praying to God I'm taking the one in a million chance that they're wrong so the stream is about just three hours of people asking boogie to show proof that he has this diagnosis for polycythemia vera which he denies and decides not to do time and time again all throughout the stream and they have multiple people come in and try and convince them and i think the total pot amount that people offered boogie to show proof got up to around eighty-five thousand. mudahar offered like 60k keemstar offered like 10k turkey tom offered 5k destiny offered around like 5k the pot got massive and despite the $85,000 prize Boogie could have gotten that stream if he had just shown proof he still decides not to show anybody his patient portal now keep in mind this is the guy who scammed his audience and was paid $10,000 to do so and what was his excuse again chat uh, I have a lot of medical bills and I'm fighting cancer. So obviously people became very suspicious of this and the general consensus was that Boogie faked cancer. So after the stream, Boogie threatens to leave the internet. He deactivated his Twitter account. He wasn't posting on YouTube or whatever until Monday where Boogie hopped back on LawCal Live to face the heat that came with the last stream that he did. And I actually did my own stream reacting to it with a friend of mine. So I'm going to go ahead and play that for you guys today. I also want to preface this by saying my webcam is broken. So I wasn't able to actually give you guys a full reaction on stream with my webcam and everything else like that. So we are just in a group chat talking about the live stream and reacting to what's happening there. Yeah, Destiny's just a, a drama tuber. Destiny's a f lol cow. Yeah, sorry, I've Darfuna. looked into that guy over the last couple of days. Destiny's and a And whether it's cow. him defending fists in jail, whether it's him laughing at the of a fireman. Whether Why is Boogie him... Grant? Why? I don't, I, this is my thing about Boogie, man. Like, it's so funny. This dude literally lied about cancer to millions of people. And he's great. Yeah, morally, he's, right now. he's morally grandstanding on Destiny. Like, seriously, this, this is what we're doing. This, he's fake cancer. He's made racist comments. He's made yes, sexist dude. comments. Homophobic he's comics. Bald. Yeah, comments. Yeah. It's just, you're, why are you morally grand? grand yeah, please you're stop. literally here to get roasted for uh, faking yes. cancer. Yes, dude. Like, like, what? <laughs> Anything Destiny's done or said is not, not even comparable. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether, whether it's him saying he's the James in favor reaction? of nah. genocide, and I have all these receipts, by the way. Wait, 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 wait. He's got I'm the receipts sorry, for Destiny, but he doesn't have the receipts for his cancer diagnosis. Yeah, where's the cancer diagnosis at? Can we get that <laughs> That's real what quick? He was yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. Destiny's take is he backs Israel and not Palestine? Yeah, you yeah. know why? Yeah. Because his wife left him for a uh, for uh, I'm thinking an Arab man, and so <laughs> then, right, then, no, I'm that is not you, true. <laughs> He's oh, talking he out of his oh, ass, brother. Hey, by the way, I want to point out this guy's wife, wife left him too. Other men in front yeah. of you. Yeah. It turns out she might leave you for one. Who knew? Boogie, man, he's fuming. Yeah, like, he's talking all this shit, bro. Like you, 
you faked cancer. But <laughs> dude, why is he why is he clapping back at Destiny, man? Like just show us the cancer diagnosis, Des brother. Destiny lit him up, exposed him. I know, him, yeah. He's now mad. he's deflecting. Yeah, now he's, he's deflecting. Mad. Yeah, I don't I don't get why he Dude, Boogie pisses me off. Holy you remember shit. how You remember how Destiny came in to my live stream? Or to our live stream yeah. after doing this about Albert 10 Einstein minutes of research on true. Yeah, he is. It, wait, wait. it wasn't 10 minutes of research, Wikipedia, by the way. And then mm -hmm. it's like, oh, mm -hmm. I know all about Jesse it. Jesse literally streams his research. I know way literally, about it yeah, he streams it. He streams it. Like he streams all his research. Like this, and it, this was like in the span of multiple streams. And too. then he's like, like, he's talking about like he, 10 minutes of research on Wikipedia or something. Yeah. Like Destiny goes through and like checks the sources and everything. Like. I'm yeah. not the hugest fan of Destiny. I think like some of his stuff is cool. His debating yeah. is great, but like yeah, if that there's dude one loves thing, yeah, if there's one thing you can give Destiny credit for, like it's his research. Like he does a lot of research. He in clicks all the sources, yeah. makes sure everything is straight. He does yeah. his research. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know who else gets tired of that shit? Joe fucking Rogan. Can you play this clip? Uh, yeah. Put it in the <laughs> Discord uh, chat, please. Can we just get the cancer diagnosis? Oh, Why so are we entertaining this guy Disney right now? By it's so, uh, it's so ridiculous. It does yeah. a Wikipedia search and then just starts going after things like yeah. he's an expert. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. I can it's, barely it's hear a, it. It was a fun yeah. time. I can hear it's it. a really fun time. Yeah. A fun time for watching people flail. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, for, so, for those of you who don't know, Joe Rogan said Destiny. <laughs> Destiny didn't even mention Destiny. Oh, there you go. And then acts like an expert. That's what he That's said. That's what he did with Doug Cohen. That's exactly just... what he did. Why are they just going on Destiny? <laughs> what is the point Do of this? this? Dude, it makes I, no sense. I don't know, man. It, listen, it doesn't make any sense that, like, Destiny well, the reason smart. why. The reason... All of these combined, bro. I, yeah, like, what yeah, yeah. Cool. Boogie has a bias. Yeah, he. Yeah. The reason why he's clapping at Destiny right now is because Destiny exposed him for can uh, for faking his cancer diagnosis. That's why. Yeah, That's why are the others I'm joining like, in? This is what I don't get. Well, they're not. They're not. They're just entertaining Boogie for some fucking reason, man. Uh, but that's not why he got yeah. you. It, no, but you know, like how he got you is the money. My medical records, and I'm never going to show my medical yeah. records. Okay. By the way, I don't. Here he goes again. Give me five thousand uh, dollars because here's the thing. I restored my. It was eighty five. It was up to eighty five thousand. One reason only. Well, Destiny himself offered five. How many times I've said on Twitter? How many times I've said on the show? You'll never see my medical records. You'll never get them. You'll never get them. You'll never get them. And I sent something to Keemstar that night. He was just going to move the goalposts. By the way, you know, mm. Destiny's not a fucking doctor. You know who is a doctor? My fucking doctor. He's the one prescribing I me hope so. all these fucking medications <laughs> I'm paying for, most of which are only because I've been suffering from polycythemia for the last two years. You know who oh, else? He didn't you, say know you, you know who is a doctor? My doctor. Yeah, I sure yeah. hope so. You know who else is a doctor? <laughs> not fucking Destiny. My brother. And by the way, my brother has seen my medical records. He's been here since the diagnosis. Is, is, your, is, your, up for you. is your brother in the room with us right now? Yeah, the thing is, it's your brother. He's going to vouch for you, bro. That's not. That's about as like reliable. Yeah. Me, me citing myself, dude. Like. Yeah. Ugh. Why did I show him? Because I've shown him my whole fucking life. He's my brother. He's a healthcare professional. So yeah, when I got diagnosed with sleep apnea, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that he's an yes, MD. He he does. Does. Thank you, Miko, for the subscribe. Your public brother, your he's brother a, loves you he's and is a biased. Your brother loves you and is a yes, biased narrator. And I absolutely do believe he would lie for you. He loves you. By the way, by the way, no disrespect to your brother. I would lie for my brother too. Oh, yeah. my brother wouldn't. Uh, just what, to be very what, clear, my what brother kind, wouldn't. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hold on. It, what kind of doctor is your brother? He has a doctorate in uh, uh, public health and education, and he's practiced as an, an epidemiologist. epidemiologist. Yeah, we'll get out of here. So he's so an epidemiologist. Here, okay, oh, so he's he's not, doesn't specialize in cancer. Doesn't specialize in cancer, though. Yes. You have AIDS? I have, <laughs> no, no, his, his okay. brother's a disease specialist. He's an epidemiologist. Yes, okay. Even the motherfucker's destiny, by the way, even this motherfucker has to admit I either have polycythemia or polycythemia vera. So if nothing else, I spent the last two years dealing with a deadly fucking disease. I've spent money on fucking treatments, on medications. But the whole thing is... On, I'm, still pulling that years, card. I'm not making this prove shit. It. And when my doctor <laughs> tells me it's probably cancer, I believe my... Doctor, now okay, there's one okay, mistake. Stop, I know. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Probably, you could really avoid this by probably, just saying it's not confirmed probably cancer. Probably cancer. Probably. probably cancer. Yeah. The only thing I have not done to confirm it, and I said this last time. Has he had blood tests? No. He claims has nobody wants to show the proof. Had, uh, yeah. yeah. Literally, oh, blood tests wouldn't even prove it. You need a sample of the actual cancer to prove it. But yeah. Yeah. 
It's just like, I don't know. I don't know what I have doing. not done the bone marrow test for two reasons. It's expensive, extremely painful, and extremely invasive. And I don't want to get it done. Well, the problem is you told people and you number did two, had cancer. You didn't say the doctor said two, you probably had cancer. He, no, he, That's did say I have, he does say I have cancer. I well, so what is it, Boogie? You probably have cancer or you do have cancer. It's not one. It can't be some sweet spot in between, man. It's like saying some muscles could... half immortal. It can't be both. Yeah. No, I, I know what he's done. It's, the doctor's probably has told him he's got, like, it's very likely he's got cancer. He's just looked at markers. That's literally what he's done. He's not looked. He hasn't got a sample of the cancer. Yeah. So you can't say it's cancer. You yeah, he's, can say, say. he's saying there are ho hormone markers in his blood. But, like, it, the whole thing is saying, like, for the past couple of years, he's saying, like, yeah, I've confirmed have I've I confirmed have cancer. Yeah, you know, he I'm, got, I'm yeah. dying of cancer. I'm, I've been... You know, battling cancer for the last two years. Like this is just what Boogie's been doing this entire time. Very the reason silly, why, yeah, he should have done that. And the reason yeah, so why what this... happened is his doctor like hinted that he could possibly have cancer. Yeah, and they you... ran to make a YouTube video immediately for sympathy because that's what Boogie does. He's like, guys, I have cancer. Give me money. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like it's actually well, I think probably because of the goddamn narrative that he told me I definitely do. The markers are in my fucking blood. Destiny would. But you just said like five minutes ago he probably has them. Like you probably have cancer. Not you definitely have. Like what is that? it, dude? He doesn't fucking believe it. Google unless it quick, he sees the medical records. You, you can't know, really you know tell you from witnesses. You know my brother is a witness. My girlfriend is a witness. My best friend is a witness. Uh, my all by his party, is a Every nurse in that goddamn office is a witness. Mm, They've all sat sense. there while I'm on the phone with my doctor when he says cancer, 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 cancer over and over again. We're treating me. Has he said exactly what type of cancer he's got? You or might have. So like, like, it's like it's it's a blood. It's like a form of it's a blood cancer, basically. Yeah, like the life expectancy is like 75 years or something with it. So like it's not even that. <laughs> That horrifying he just he just saw it as an opportunity to say all right this is technically cancer cancer is scary i could get money and sympathy for this yeah, he has the he has the animal crossing of cancer as he, as he would say it. yeah well that shit in destiny's face what you're going to give the uh, medical records after the bone marrow thing but not just do it now and knock it no. out that makes no, no sense no, I'm going to get it done. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't mean shit. Like, I'm going to um, never get my medical records, so I'm not saying that. What are you, you, you going to order if you don't show him? him. <laughs> like I said, I'll never get the f***ing money. I have no interest in the f***ing money. It's make-believe internet money anyway. I don't think Mudahar would give me $50 if I was trying to get changed. He would, now. though. Are you kidding me? Yes, that's the thing. So, Mudahar is all about, like, morals and, uh respect and stuff like Muda when he says he's gonna do something he's gonna do it yeah because that's like the community he's built like he's mm -hmm. mr moral essentially not in the bad way in the very good way but yeah. if he says he's going to give you money for something he's going to give it to you it, destiny it, it, yeah destiny who was who who were all the people who said they were giving him uh, keemstar, Muda, keemstar mudahar and destiny all pitched I could, in i could tell you keemstar was fifteen thousand. mudahar went up to sixty thousand. turkey yeah. tom was five thousand. yeah and yeah, destiny yeah. was five thousand. if it came up to eighty five thousand in total and he yeah. still would have showed the papers because mm -hmm. it doesn't exist boogie right like yeah. people like and by the way this is the same guy who scammed his audience for ten thousand dollars because of a crypto rug pull and this guy is saying that like so for the bone marrow test if you really care you're eighty five thousand dollars eighty five thousand and he won't take that yeah just to show his diagnosis that's literally it they, yeah. he, he was offered overall what the average household makes in two years just to mm -hmm. show one little piece on his health portal and he yep. turned it down after scamming his fans for a measly ten thousand dollars to pay yep. for the same cancer. Well, we unquote. say measly, but I'll take ten thousand on a heartbeat. But yeah, well, like, yeah, but yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, in comparison to eighty-five k, yeah. Is live and die by the reputation. If they say they're going to give you fifty thousand dollars and they don't do it, the internet's mm -hmm. going to. Clown. Well, they'll never see, give me because they'll never get my medical. Record. So, like that, that money is yeah, yeah. to go as a printed to, check. He thinks he's so badass. Destiny, this I know. Is fuck. Did you know he said he's pro genocide? Yes, I, 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 I no, he's not breaking this clip up. He's not breaking this clip up. I have also have a clip of. Well, let's see what the let's another man in front of him if you want to see he's, that. The cat's out of the bag with all that stuff, Boogie. I don't and know this is the clip I'm thinking of. Yeah, you have to skip for it. Very interesting. Well, I bet, well, but it makes you feel better. I, I'm curious because I I know about him being a cuck. I mean, that's pretty known. Like, yeah, everyone knows that. Dude. He literally. Yeah, everyone knows that. Everyone knows all this stuff. And he even jokes about it. He talks about it all the time. What's the context with that? Why is he pro genocide? He's. I bet he's well, not, dude. I, I bet he's gonna take an well, out of context well, clip. Hey, how about if this is what I think it is, we're gonna have to skip okay. forward. 
five hundred percent Palestinian Israelite stuff. So this stupid dumb fat fuck. So in this clip, they literally show dead children in it. So you're gonna want to skip forward a little bit. Uh, so what this clip is is out of context joke Destiny made, where he's making fun of other commentators or some shit like that, where he's saying, "Ah, hey guys, I'm pro genocide" or something like that. And literally in the clip, there's dead kids in the background. Like there's one where they had two dead bodies with flies around it. Just to give y'all a description, I guess so y'all know what you're missing if you care. And then there's just another kid right after that's dead. So like obviously you don't want to show that in a stream. Yeah, you can see part of it. Yeah, yeah, what, right there. Don't send me videos of kids dying to play yeah, there you on go. stream. Like, yeah, come, on. come on, that's stupid. Like, fat. Stupid. What a f idiot. I Dude. actually can't stand Boogie's brain sometimes, man. Like actually, I can't stand it it pisses me off just how stupid someone can, like how like yeah dude but like he's getting scolded right now for sending a video of With dead, dead children on stream like it's nothing was fucking, like nothing was go turning in his brain there like at all at all and then and also then he's like so stupid that he can't figure out that a clip is taking out of context like he just takes twitter clips like seriously like this is just this is just a boogie dude he's so dumb yeah. so yeah as you guys can see at the very beginning of stream all he's trying to do is just make himself look better than destiny by bringing up a lot of out of context clips for example the genocide one that he was talking about and also the like weird cuck thing that i guess destiny has going on which which honestly genuinely isn't even a big deal. But the whole point is Boogie is so desperate for a win here that he is taking out of context clips off of Twitter to try and one up Destiny. It's really just stupid. Anyway, I'm going to skip through some of this stream because a lot of it isn't what I want to talk about. There are some points in here that I genuinely think are way more important to talk about. For example, his interactions with Mudahar and an actual doctor that came in and tried to call him out on some stuff. Is the, it, Muta, is the money off the table now? Is it gone? Is the offer not Honestly, good. for me, the whole terms have changed. Like, I'm paying for this guy to, like, now confirm that he has his cancer that he said he had a year and a half ago. But that's what you were doing. Yeah, cook him. That well, wasn't what I was doing to begin with. What I was doing to begin with was that at that time, show us the actual diagnosis, and he didn't. Yeah, he didn't no, no, like, the, offer, the offer was only good if he did it at that moment. Yeah, literally. Yes. That's why we all did it. <laughs> yeah, that's why do you think I put up 50 60 if he was no, so. I, I, I agree with Muda. I agree with Muda. Is there anything that we can do to get the offer back on the table? Is there any standard you can put forth now? Oh, forget forget what happened. Four days ago, he should have not lied. And he sh yeah. My medical records. 17 years has gone by, and you've never seen my roommate. I've never taken a photo of him under tweeted. What does your roommate have to do with anything? You, yeah. They on this stream asked me if I they give me a hundred thousand dollars to put a camera in his face, and I told you guys to go fuck yourself. And there are oh, some things. So no one gives a fuck to see your roommate. No one cares. Who fucking I don't know. Who <laughs> the point that I'm making is there are sacred cows in my life. My medical records and chat are two of them. What does that mean? He test me on the third. What does that even mean? My question is, like, my thing is, I've never understood. I don't understand this hill that he's dying on. You have been absolutely, like, completely public about every single diagnosis that you've ever had. But when it comes to actually just, like, Proving literally it. having, just actually having the writing on paper, basically. Like, literally everything you've said, if everything you said is true, it's just everything that you've said, but on paper. Like, it doesn't make what? any sense. Like, none of it is actually private if you're, you're talking about it so much. Literally, all you're, all you're doing is just putting it on, like, showing us that it's on paper. Hold on. My favorite thing is he tries to say that it's not anyone's business and it's his private info. The moment that you told everyone you have cancer, the moment that you pity everyone to give you money for that cancer, watch your videos and all this stuff. Not only that, the but moment the, moment, you, the moment you scammed your audience for $10,000 yes, because you of your cancer. Made that their, you made that yeah. everyone's business. That is yes. everyone's business. It's everyone's right to know and have the confirmation yes. you have the cancer. Yes, Once dude. you receive the money for it and used it for pity bucks, it's been everyone's, it's the entire internet. I'm pretty sure it is, but okay. you can verify if you're... I don't know. I just listened to my doctor again. I, I was don't... it called erythropoietin or EPO? I'm not sure. They tested you for? He knows what he's talking I about. Know. Never mind. I, I, I take again, it back. I just I just know he said there are there there's markers in my blood that proves this. That's all I know. Okay. And that he's got him concerned. But hold on. I'm just curious about a couple of things um, because I oh sorry somebody else. Here. Oh okay. Yeah, I'm just curious because I've heard a couple mixed things. I've heard like you have hormones in your blood. I've heard you have hormone markers consistent with the disease. So 
Now, I'm just curious, like, did they tell you you had a lot of hormone in your blood or? What well, I mean, we all know? have a lot of hormones in our blood. Uh, well, yeah, of course. But this. Yeah, smart ass. That they've talked to you about. I don't know. I don't know. Just that it was present. That's all I know. That it was present. Yes. And like a high amount, higher than normal. Enough to where he was convinced I have cancer. I don't know. Okay. Beyond. Yeah, so uh, I'll just talk about polycythemia briefly. There's a lot of different forms. There are actually like forms of secondary polycythemia that are due to other cancers. Uh, renal cell carcinoma actually causes high levels of this hormone as well. Um, but I am really curious about what your level is in particular because polycythemia oh. vera manifests in a very particular way. With it's, high, to it's high enough at this point where he wants to start looking for other cancers. So, so we're, starting, we're starting with the colonoscopy. And we're going to make sure I don't have ass cancer because we have some, we have some, like Jordy said, I have some signs there that I, I'd rather, well, it is, there's blood in my shit. Uh, yeah. Say. And okay. So, and combined with that, with the, with the markers, he's concerned that it's ass cancer. So we're going to, we're going to roll that one out. Yeah. And I wish you all the best with it because I, I don't know whether you do or don't have some other form of cancer with blood in your right. stool. It's always good to get your colonoscopy and things like that. Right. Uh, I will say you're talking about how the hormone is high enough that you're looking at other cancers. Polycythemia vera has a low level. Ooh. Ooh. Not a high level. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I guess maybe, like, he hasn't said high or low. Ooh. But. Oh, no, he's been saying high this entire time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mr. Honey Badger, cook look at, hey, look at my goat right here, chat. Look at him. <laughs> Dude, he looks like the you know the Roblox face. Yes, <laughs> dude. Yes, dude. he hit him with it, bro. He, he hit him with bro, it. Bro, he's in with the fucking Roblox smirk right now. Oh my god, he he's cooked his ass so hard. He knows he cooked, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh my I was god. I thought you said it was high, and that's why they were looking at other cancers. I, I oh, 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 cooked, bro, cooked. <laughs> Wait, so um, the doctor here said that apparently, just let's rewind a minute. You said something about having like a low amount of something of a hormone in your blood that would have been the cause for this PV. But then yeah. you literally said like 30, a minute before him, it's like your doctor said that you actually had a high amount of that yeah. same. Well, I don't remember hormone. saying that. You. Oh my God. God. Oh my God. God. He said this for. Him. Wait, how far are we in the stream? One hour. He said that it is a high hormone for six hours that we've seen him on the screen, by the way. Including the last show. So it's six hours he's been saying that. Oh my f God. I can't believe how <laughs> how far he will go to, like, just so. Dude, he's like. No, man, no. Boogie is like the greatest troll in all of internet. There's no shot. Be trolling, he, there's <laughs> no way, man. He's got to be like a long term control there's zero way there's no way and basically everybody here just goes through the same old cycle with boogie they're trying to figure out what's happening they're asking for proof he brings his girlfriend on she basically tells them nothing other than you know she was in the room with him when they got the diagnosis he gets his brother on the phone and he tells them basically absolutely nothing the doctor leaves and finally near the absolute end of the stream after seven hours of pure agony with boogie denying it and faking it and just treating everybody like shit because of it he finally admits that he doesn't have posophilioma vera on his patient portal Vera's not on the portal. I don't know, man. It's not. I can send you, you a bunch know. of stuff. That, it's I not. four days ago you were looking yeah, at it. Yeah, four days ago you said you were looking at it. Like so I it's, told you, it's I spent the there. last, like I told you, I spent the last two years getting treated for it. I've been told by my doctor for the oh last my two God. years. Boogie, is, just admit it's not on the portal. It's not on there. I told okay, you this. I told thank you. you. I have to do the verifying there it is. Right. Yep. I can send you there blood tests. I can give you blood there test results. There it is, guys. And you don't have polycythemia vera on the. You don't have it on the portal. He doesn't have it on the portal. He tries to look for things, it. There are other things that are not on the portal that we've talked about. I've said it from the beginning of Law Cow Live that Boogie is 100% going to be the reason why this podcast fails. And it seems that that reality may come to light because at the end of that stream, Keemstar was wrestling with the fact that he might have to fire Boogie with this. New information that has come out. So, I don't know where Law Cow Live is going to go from here. Keemstar made a tweet that he had come to a really hard decision and that he's going to announce it on stream. So we won't know until we hear what he has to say. 
With that said, I appreciate you all. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next one.